She dreams. She dreams of strangling baby birds, wrens, bluebirds, robins, and doves. When she takes those small birds and squishes their necks, their beaks against her thumbs, and just snaps those heads away. Why she dreams. She dreams of being locked in a cage. When singing loudly and off key, with her loved ones and her neighbors standing behind that cage and whispering very, very, very loudly. She has an ugly voice, doesn't she? She has an ugly voice. Oh, that's what those loved ones always do, just talking behind your backs. Just what the neighbors always say. Just what your loved ones are always, 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 always saying. Oh, and she dreams, baby. <laughs> she dreams. She dreams of falling out of that fifth story window. Oh, but she caught her fall by holding on to that icy ledge in January with the stone cutting through her tendons, with the stone cutting through her fingers, with the stone just cutting through her bloody, bloody bones. Oh, baby, it didn't matter because she's got ugly hands. She's got three Died. Oh, when my father died, who stuck 
cyclones erupted, volcanoes appeared, coyotes came out of their caves, all people were struck by lightning. Let me tell you, I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. We're already having abortion on my conscience from when a member of my own family raped me. Don't worry, I won't mention your name. Oh, and I know that the reason why my father killed himself is because he no longer found me attractive. And by now you can tell that I prefer to talk about the fear of living as opposed to the fear of dying. 